Hi all and welcome to the first video of section 6. This section is about Alfresco and Cloud, all together with a new set of utilities that Alfresco 4 offers. In this video we'll see how to obtain a developer API key in order to start developing against Alfresco public APIs. Those APIs enable you to persist content to Alfresco in the cloud. It consists of two parts, CMIS for creating, querying, updating and deleting nodes and Alfresco REST calls for Alfresco functionalities that CMIS doesn't cover. First of all, we'll need to verify our email address. In order to do so, we'll need to click on Register for the Cloud API blue button. We should be prompted with a form that we have to compile with all the requests and information and accept the terms and conditions. We shall receive a confirmation email. After confirming our email, we'll be able to sign in as developers to Alfresco Cloud. After we sign in through developer.alfresco.com, we'll be prompted with a new dashboard where we can manage our authentication and our API keys along with our application. If we go in our application section, we can add a brand new application. We shall see a new pop-up window. So in this example, I'll be using a test application in Java with a Fresco public API. What we can end up doing is making calls like this against the Fresco public API. Once we have our authentication key set up, we can start making calls against the API. We can call a method on the CMIS Atom PubRest API, for example, by issuing an authenticated HTTP request with an URL, as just said. With CMIS 1.1 release, cmis.alfresco.com now has two more formats, JSON or JSONP. To start, all you have to do is download a CMIS client, like OpenCMIS or CMISLib, and pass in the authorization header. From here, it's all up to you. For further information about Alfresco Public API, here is the online documentation link. In the upcoming video, we see how to use the Alfresco Cloud Platform.